everybody, we're back for Penumbra part, I cannot remember, <laughs> so I've already failed. <laughs> uh, but welcome back to the next video. Um, continue where we were. Okay, this way is where we were going. Uh, I said we were going to follow the left wall. So we just dealt with the dog, I think, last time. Yeah. And we were just going to keep this dog. Yeah. So we're just going to keep following on the left. Yeah. It's funny, it's showing our location is a little bit off outside of the map, but uh, this is the way I was wanting to go. Or something. And it's just a dead end. What is this? Pretty solid. Oh uh, yeah. Well, looks solid. Door has been forged shut. It will never open again. Wow. Okay. So just can never go there. It doesn't even show a door up here. But Odd. Okay, so the next thing we'll run into is Shaft 12. There's maps all over this place, which is nice. Yeah. Whatever Shaft 12 is. What is that? I can see why there'd need to be fences down here, but why use barbed wire? What were they trying to keep out? Hmm. I don't know. Alright. Another security door. Drag down the note. Not that note. Found a door leading to Sector C, but I need a code to unlock it. That's the keypad door. There's something in the way behind the door leading to Shaft 12. Another route is required to get in there. Crap. So, basically just a dead end. Okay, so now we can go see what's in the refinery, I guess. Just go down to our left. This way. See if we can get in there and do anything. I don't know what these are. Like furnaces or something. Another dog. Not really that scared of the dogs anymore. trouble though. <laughs> it's easier to just kill him <laughs> right out. You're going to regenerate your health mostly anyway, so. You might as well just Ooh. Might as well just do this and hope for the best. I got ejected. <sighs> Me and him like took up part of a wall or something and it, it like threw me way over here. <laughs> that was weird. It's cool though. So nothing in here. Just another uh, just another gas chamber. Finery. Well, that's where we're going. Finery. Finery. <laughs> wow. Can go in. 
Oh man. Okay, I actually remember this area. Ah, stuck. It must have jammed when I closed it. Let's reload a quick save. See where that puts us. Okay, we gotta kill the dog again. No big deal. We'll go check out the other the other shaft before we uh, before we go in the way we just went. Yeah, it's kinda good to stay behind them. That means they're running when they do that. <laughs> ah, you got me. Alright, he's dead. So. I can't feel my arms and legs anymore. I'm in trouble. Well, you'll be alright. Let's uh, go this direction real quick. this opens. So where does this go? Hmm. Quick save. of those tunnels, I know what that means. I better not stick around here too long. look loose. I might be able to shift them, but they are more likely to bury me alive. Wow. Okay. Uh, well, let's go right here, and we're going to quick save, because <laughs> I don't know what's going to happen. Oh, this is movable. Is it? again. Wow, this is not cool. Eggs. Oh, crap. No oh, gosh. No oh, gosh. Oh, I went the wrong way. not the way. Neither does that look like the right way either. Uh, there's eggs everywhere. I have no idea where I'm going. No. 
idea where I'm going. Squeamish. Okay, good. said than done. They will come after you. safe. Phew, that was uh, not very cool. <laughs> the pipes are dry. This whole place is dead. The water that's collected in the basins is a shade browner than it should be. <laughs> Gross. Loads of lockers. Maybe there's something of use inside, or maybe not. <laughs> well, some beef jerky. Rations. Some boots, apparently. Piece of paper blank, save for the smears of dirt. Huh. Okay. Beef jerky. There's another note. Flares, lots of batteries, more medicine, more beef jerky. Unless my friends lie somewhere near you now. A friend in need is a friend indeed. But a friend that's dead is a poor conversationalist. May they rest in pieces, ruptured. Okay, that was just a trigger for being in this room. I was like, why did the enemy music start up again? What was he going to say about that? This locker room is in worse shape than most of the facility. Whatever tore this place apart must have started out nearby. Huh. More dynamite, more beef jerky. Another helmet. Another major cave in dam. It looks like that might have been a route up to the surface. Well, you could pull the rocks away. I'll take that pipe right there. It's a changing room. This must have been close to the main entrance to the mine. How many people worked down here? How many people died? Hmm. Huh. Interesting. So what if I pull this away? Uh, you can't pull it. It's locked in place. If you don't do that, though, you'll die. They'll come in here like by swarms and kill you. Unless you just leave real quick, but then you'll miss out on all this stuff. So, 
The words in this page are so scribbled that they hurt. they're hard to make out. Trapped Miner's final words. February 24th, 1972. I write this... okay. February 24th, 1972. I write this note in the knowledge that it may well serve as my last will and testament. Three other miners and I have been trapped beneath the main shaft to the surface for what we believe to be three days, but with no daylight and increasing dehydration, it's impossible to tell. The only thing keeping us alive is the hope that there could be a rescue team already on the way. We were also positive at the start, but that seems long ago now. Renton was the first to crack, uh, sometime during the first night. We all just lay there trying to sleep through the sound of his wailing and sobbing, trying to pretend his problems weren't our own, and that he was weak for having it, uh, given up so soon. The fact was, he was dealing with the situation pretty realistically. Our chance of survival gets smaller every hour. Since then, he hasn't said much. But the despair that gripped him seems to have spread through the rest of us like a cancer. We were such fools to ignore the foreman, and he paid for that with his life. When he started putting security code locks on all the doors, we thought he was crazy. There's only us down here after all. So why should we need codes to access places we're all allowed to go? He gave us all code sheets, made us swear uh, to keep them safe. Uh, mine hasn't left my locker more than once. It's still there. Doesn't get much safer than that. That must be that blank sheet of paper. We asked him who we were keeping them safe from, but he never said. It was a pain in the arse, is what it was. I had to trek all the way to that crazy biolo biologist office in the mining room this morning just to check the code for Section C. But he obviously knew something about these mines we didn't. Some of the guys started acting weird. Not crazy weird. Just not normal. That didn't stop a couple of them from being carted off to mainland Europe for psychiatric help. It was no one I knew well until the incident three days ago. We were in the chemical storage when one of the guys, who had seemed pretty straight, just started shouting. It wasn't a normal kind of shouting. I'm not any kind of wordsmith, so I just don't know how to describe the noises he was making. We'll just have to stick with not normal. Anyway, he managed to hurt a couple of guys, damage some equipment before we got him under control. Nothing serious. When we released him, he seemed okay. Phased, but alright. Didn't really know where he was. Far away look in his eyes that look. I'll remember that for the rest of my days, even if there aren't many of, more of them. His pupils weren't dilated. They just seemed to take up more space than they should, than should be possible. Black and horrible. Then he snapped and grabbed up one of the high-rated uh, high explosive packs. We know, knew what he intended, saw it in those eyes. Those that could made those that could made a run for it, but the guy was already bearing down on the foreman. He didn't have a chance. There were five of us who made it out the exit shaft. Only four survived the explosion. The elevator shaft collapsed in on us, and now it's anyone can guess how many are trapped down here. The last thing I saw was those eyes. It seemed like they were staring at me and made me alone. Miles Staten. Hmm. Oh, they were staring at me and me alone. Gotcha. And then page four is just empty. Okay. Alrighty. Oh, that's interesting. Alright, so heading out this way. Alright, so that's looped back on itself. And I'm 
don't think we can go here anymore. Yeah, because it collapsed. So that was to obtain this uh, blank sheet of paper. Yeah. Alright. How much more time we got left? Ten more minutes or so. Alright. Continue on. Go back to... is where we need to go. to this machine room with the uh, conveyor belt. Yeah. The frame rate low in here. Mm. Yeah, I have a uh, an MSI RTX 2070 Super NVIDIA card. OGL is OpenGL. That's the uh, API application interface that the game uses. All of Frictional's games up to this point use OpenGL instead of like uh, DirectX 11 or DirectX 12. G memory, that's my graphics card memory. I have 8 gigs on my card. I'm using 3.3. Uh, my computer memory, I have 16 gigs. I'm using almost six gigs right now and then my g temp that's my graphic temperature my, my graphics card is running 39 celsius which is wonderful c temp 63 celsius that's my uh cpu um, which is pretty high for in general usage this game is pretty cpu heavy and then G fan, my fan is uh, my fans. I have two fans on my GPU graphics card, and there's uh, they're at 23 percent as far as how uh, how much they're spending. And then G usage is how much of my total card is being utilized, which is only 38 percent of my total card's capacity. So pretty good ranges. It's just an old game, it kind of looks like there's a little bit of stuttering in the movement, but it's just the game not really dropping any frames. Although this right here, you can tell, this is not animated, it, that's not moving at 60 FPS. <laughs> that's, uh, trying to get away from it so you can hear me a little better. That's probably animating at like 30 FPS or something. So we got five minutes. Just gonna kind of chill right here. Ground a little bit. Actually, in a well lit room for once. So, we got a control panel here. Um, excuse me. Can't go through here. Uh, we can put something through here. Conveyor belt, I wonder where it goes. Must be the hub where all the rock from the mine is collected and refined. These pistons would crush every bone in my body. Yes, they were. Just thinking about that HD texture pack. 
I mean, yeah. That's possibly probably upscale. That's not really. Uh, the walls and ceilings and floors, mostly. That is. But when you look at some things, it looks like this. This pipe texture looks upscaled, but this around it doesn't, so neither does this, so. I don't think that mod caught everything, but it caught most of it. This wire connects those buttons up to that pressing machine, yeah. So, we need to go through here, but we can't. We have to raise these pistons, and there's like four. Four of them. And we kind of just have to mess with these buttons randomly until you figure out how they move and then clear the path so that lifts to we need to get them all up all down two in the bottom not do anything Almost it. These bottom buttons don't do anything. <laughs> I don't know what the combination is. I'm just pressing stuff. It'll solve itself eventually. I imagine. Buttons on the bottom there don't do anything. No, oh, that does. That maybe they do do something. Slow with that. Okay, they do do something. I couldn't tell you what the solution for that is. That's probably the most trouble I've even ever had with that puzzle. You just keep fiddling with it and eventually it'll uh, solve itself, like I said. I'm certain most people wouldn't get close enough to the machine to read those instructions. Important. 101 loading instructions. Yep. Okay, gonna ah, checkpoint. Only the engraving etched in the back of my mind can compare to the sight you must be seeing. Now power has returned. I wish I could be there with you, but circumstances do not allow for such frivolities. Maybe soon there is something you can do about that. But tell me, are the rubber belted conveyances now churning in the rock room? I think I know where they lead. It is some kind of heaven or a utopia. Hmm. All right. It's a pretty cool area. This conveyor belt's closed off. Uh, yeah. Maybe one of those huge worm things came through here. I'd rather believe it was. Uh, a stain of corrosion, but I doubt it. Okay. So, a little bit of a puzzle here. 
note. The ladder is fairly precariously positioned. Maybe I could knock it down somehow. Let's look at this note. Section C door. There's something in the way behind the door leading to 12. I found the note, but as far as I can tell, there is no code written on it. That's, uh, that is this, the blank note. Which he's referring to. The ladder in the refinery must be swung down for me to be able to climb it. Right. So that's our objective at the moment. To, uh, there's some interaction here we have to do. I think eventually we're trying to get up here. Um, but the timer stopped here for 30 minutes. So I'm to end the video here. And when we come back, uh, we'll solve this little area and uh, keep progressing further through the mines. Thank you for watching. Bye.